Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophynet, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. PB just uh, proposed that she wants to follow us along, so uh, we're gonna just tell her that she's in, because I really like PB, so uh, you're in. Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. Fine. So I'll catch up with you. Okay, goodbye, PB. Well, this will be interesting. So now we can just walk around on EOS, if I'm not mistaken. Because we don't even have our helmet on. Ah, now we do. Acquired 1150 Andromeda viability points. Increased by 50% and I leveled up. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen. Oh, huh, interesting. Because this, this place looks awesome. Ooh, bridge. Oh, wait a second. It's still hazardous. That's, that's bullshit. But let's first check out our uh, skills. Um, what am I going to... I do like the overload and energy drain combo. So if I can upgrade that. Damage and shield restore. Shields restored, which is really, really good. Um, I could go for that. Otherwise, overload just increases the damage. Which is good. But I don't wanna don't wanna push my luck there. So let's go for energy drain and just uh, increase the damage and the shields it restores. There we go. And then we go check. I confirm that. I go check Cora. She should have three points at the moment. So let's go with her next point in charge. And then we can do Vetra as well. She should have further access to her power armor, I think. Unless this boosts her shields. Which is good. Might actually do that. Just boost the shields. There we go. Vetra Nyx. And let's oh wow, that was a flash. Ouch, my eyes. Um so now we need to keep going if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there goes the bridge. And go check out that outpost. So I guess I'll see you guys at the outpost in a minute. Cat ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that Drac? Okay. Apparently the cats are fighting Drax, so maybe we should uh, get out and help him out by running over some cat flamo. Just gonna Is these guys are firing at the ship. Just gonna head out. I think that's it. Here they come! Yeah, bye. I'll take you apart. Ryder, about time you joined the party. Oh wow, this is this is fighting. Anything else? Oh they dropped something. Yeah, bye. Keep it up. Jesus Christ. Nice. Just gonna revive Fetra here. Should be fine behind this wall. Or not. That shield drain is gonna save my life every single time, I think. 
Because that gives me my shields back immediately. Whew. That was a lot more dynamic than we were used to. You're telling me. Holy you shit. You can really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Maybe Have you should put that gun wrong. away. Um, we work well together. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I'm in. <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. Fine, that's another crew member then. Hell yeah! So Drax is on the team, along with PB, so uh... We're the building a, a big team. Sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. Little bit of hope. We can work with that. Okay. Can we actually scan anything else? Doesn't seem like we can. But let's let's uh, place the uh, the outpost here and activate the beacon. I'm curious what's gonna happen now. Are they just gonna pull this is down where we'll some build buildings? This is a real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. Oh. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. Also, awesome. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. Hmm, any opinions, team? What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? I say scientific. Aren't we here to explore? I say military. There's ah, too many great. threats out here. Be advised Great. that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. Hmm. Okay, then I think just towards the outside, so towards our intentions with Andromeda, I think we should go for a scientific outpost first then. We could always go for military on the next one, but... Uh, Let's start with a scientific one first. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation. And our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. And foothold, another trophy. We're racking those in. Oh, and something's happening. What is that? Or oh, that are the ships Just for the supplies. Rider. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Also, awesome. locked inbound and ready as hell. August Bradley, who are you? Allison is there as well, but August Bradley, operational head for this block, mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. Okay. Um, not just my efforts, but, uh, yeah, not just my efforts. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. Prodromos. Hey, Iga. I haven't seen Ega for months. Okay. Eos Hello, Alison. Eos is far from Golden. But now it's a producer. A real and reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. Well, we kind of did. I warned them, hoping was irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. What's your game, Addison? Or oh, you were right to be... There's no really a middle ground here, so either suck up to her or question her resolve. Um, hmm. You were right to be cautious, I suppose? I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. Okay then. What was that all about? The reality, Ryder? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. 
Well, good luck. I uh, have a lead on something else. I chose a scientific, uh, a scientific outpost instead vault. of a military one. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware. That's all. Be aware. You're just as manipulative. Whatever helps the initiative, I can handle myself. Arguing is pointless. Um, I don't think arguing is pointless in this case because it has a lot of consequences, but we can handle ourselves. Don't worry. I majored in glad handing during Pathfinder training. We're led by the best. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then, Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Okay. Sounds like another job for us, then. If Tan needs us. Okay, speak with Tan at the he Nexus Pathfinder HQ and give Eos radiation time to clear. Oh, oh, I'm, st I'm in radiation at the moment. Um, meet Carrie, speak with Addison. We need to talk to Bradley as well, but Bradley is down there. Why are we walking outside here? Luckily, there's a pretty big shield around the uh, Priodromos. Apparently, there's no fall damage in this game as well, so um, let's take a look around. Can I actually scan anything here? Not for now. Um, Mayor Bradley. Bradley. Let's just check out the quest log and I'll put that as an active quest. Okay, I can't actually find a quest to talk to Bradley, which is interesting, but I do get a few quest markers around this place, so maybe if I'm watching enough... What is he doing? Is he praying? What the hell is he doing? Looks like he's dancing. Hey Connor, heard about the new position. Pro Prodromos just gained one hell of a businesswoman. They're lucky to have you. If we ever find ourselves on the Nexus at the same time, I'm buying you a drink to celebrate. Vetra and Ryder, I know you're going to get nosy and read this. Hi. <laughs> that was... Okay, that was a mail from uh, Vetra. And she kind of knew we would read this. Interesting. Um, so there seems to be a quest over here. Really hope all those scientists will be safe out here. We came to explore and learn. That's who we are. Already getting requests from the Pedromos labs. Where the hell? Ah, it's down there. Oh, damn it. You can go inside of the building. Hello. Anyone here need my help? There's not a terminal over here on the left. No messages. There's another one over here. Formal request for Dark at Tier VN. Making the request again, Bradley, I know it's not your fault. I know she's supposed to be the second wave. But I want a trail so so that when all this calms down in a few years, we can get proper outraged about how long it took to reunite families. Especially ones hurt during the Site-1-2 mass. You know, broken promise is a thing, right? Requesting the deployment of Dark at Tier Vian, W84 Crispin, Exo Study Specialist, reason she's an asset that will help viability. She's also my daughter. Upload. Okay. Speak with Addison's assistant on the Nexus. Interesting. I'm just going to check out this merchant. And I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, there we go. I bought the upgrade for the Carnifex, so the base, base uh, pistol. Because I'm wondering if I can actually use that to my advantage in a minute. Um, seems to be a green icon over... Ooh. That's a memory fragment. Can I scan it? Memory thing, I just need to activate it. There we go. Another eidetic trigger, Sam? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Okay. Um, this is August Bradley, so... Mayor Bradley. Let's talk with him as well. Good to see you. We're busy as anything, thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. 
It's worth it when it's your own. Good to hear. Don't overwork. I, I'll want consistent updates. Yeah, make sure we're the to boss keep a right clear now. log of what you're doing. Well, let's save some bandwidth. Busted ass to feed initiative. Copy, paste, repeat. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions: Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like Site One and Two. They never knew what hit them, and don't dismiss their efforts. Yeah, because it's because of them that we're here. I combed the first two outpost attempts. Those people died trying. And they deserved better from the Nexus. That's where I point the finger. We'll remember. You changed this planet, but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. Maybe there's hope for that. I haven't reached the end of that trail, but not everyone died outright. Right. They tell me there were staggered evacs. If any want to try again, they're welcome. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Okay. Head for the is Nexus, that... Pathfinder. Prodromos will have more going on. Okay, then. But I think there was one more quest over here. There's an icon this way. Oh, what's that? Quarantine best practices. Please remember that everything shipped to the landing pad, especially from off-world rather than sealed Nexus supplies, must go through quarantine procedures via confined observation, spot testing, bacteriological scans or a radioactive sterilization. We are a new presence on EOS and everything added to the ecosystem will have an effect down the line. Our job is to make sure it's a beneficial one and strong quarantine practices will help us out. Haney Abram Ab Abrams? Addendum, if anyone tries to tell me or Hinley that your shipment's a special case and you don't need to bother, you'll be running quarantine twice. Good on you, Bradley. So I checked that out. Radiation alerts for shuttle pilots that fault due hickey might be clearing the atmosphere, but we still got pockets of high radiation and bad weather across the continent. Tilly presence re update, zones 10, 12 are still smoking hot, but zone 8 is showing a drop. Watch your shuttle's radiation shield absorption they can take up to 190 MSV per hour safely. Anything more and you need to head back for a refit. And remember that if you're carrying power cells or radiological equipment, those can throw your readings off. Make sure you're as safe as you think. And then flight schedule. Yeah, okay. Thanks for all that. And now seems like there's another quest giver over there. So let's just check him out. Should be inside of this little pod. Hello? Or is this just a terminal? Please help, this is the only way I can get the word out before someone gets killed. My work crew, they keep talking about that remnant tech. They think the initiative's lying about how dangerous it is. That a couple of electrodes in the right place could get the remnant to work for them instead. They tried before and I helped out in medbay when those remnant observers carved up Barty. But Jennings says we could live like kings if we had an army of remnant bots working and fighting for us. He's taking the whole cr work crew to help him this time. I have to go with them. Maybe I can talk Jennings out of it. But I, if I can't, someone should know why we didn't come back. Someone left okay. a warning. Looks like a work crew thinks they can take control of the remnant. That's an incredibly bad idea. Work crew rosters are posted publicly. The data pad mentioned Med Bay. A little work, we could find where to catch up with them. Huh. So they're trying to bring back random bots to work for them, but that might actually work out very, very badly. With okay, this is a research center. Just quickly gonna check this out. So I bought some blueprints for armor and a shotgun from the remnant, but I can't really uh build them yet so nothing new for you guys so i'm just gonna head back to the nexus and see what we can do from over there um because there are a few quests that we need to finish up over there before we do anything else so i'll see you guys i think because there might be a fancy animation i don't know you know what i'm just not gonna skip this let's uh let's depart the planet
Ascent is go. There we go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's oh, fantastic. Okay, that's easy. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? Whatever, it's cool. Uh, work it out. You're professionals. I'm not going to babysit bunk assignments. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? Oh, that was... <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay, then. That was Let's harsh. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots. Just to be clear. Okay, that's us, so I what think. What do you need from us, Ryder? Um, just, just get along. Um, that, that might be a good start. Just get along. Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. Okay. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. <laughs> but not humility yeah. or self-awareness. <laughs> okay, let's Touché. get back to the Nexus. Bye, goodbye, team. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. Yep, everybody left. We've got a lot to prove already. Augmentations are rare materials that can be added to some blueprints. Items incorporating augments can be more powerful or behave differently. Yeah, because we've seen that in the uh, development uh, tab in the research center already. Hey, hey, can you drop by the bio lab? What's the bio? Oh, this is the bio lab. Let's go talk nice to Cora. you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. Um. Take it easy. Your biotics always do that when you're maybe stressed. I got it. I'm good. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one before the initiative. Some things stick though, like losing the old man. So that's something I don't really get. How are you an Asari commando? Because you're not an Asari. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with a Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. And how well did you know him? You were his second in command. Were you friends too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. Um, I'm still here. We can talk. I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way. And I meant it. But I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you. An untrained pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is so this going to be a problem? You still have Cora? a problem with us. I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. We'll be good together. Um, okay, that seems like a romance option. Let's go for that, but... You, me, side by side? I like the sound of that. 
A commando friend said something like that once. I explained I wasn't into women, however admirable they might be. So... So I said I'd still take a bullet for her. We were a team. That's all I was asking but for, I think. There's still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. What did you come so for, actually? So what brought actually? you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Fine. So, I kind of feel like Korra is a more better-mannered Jack from uh, Mass Effect 2 and 3. Because she has the same biotic potential, but she was uh, trained by the Asari instead of uh, cast out like Jack was. Um... With that done, I think I'm going to take a little break right next to this lovely, lovely model of the Nexus. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate uh, any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video for Mass Effect Andromeda. Goodbye.